Can I ask you some questions? Of course. But hurry, I have a lot to do. The Mother Cardinal told me that... Are you... Yeah, and... What was the reaction? No, they... And they're... I said... Were there any... Yeah, being, but we... Thank you. I will let you work. Hello, brother. Oh, Desade, is that you? Do you need anything? Have you been in Eden for a long time? Two months, approximately. Back then, there were still some pagan natives in the village. I joined Sister Eugenia's team with some of my colleagues, so we could give them a fresh outlook on things. We arrived straight from Teleme, hoping to study some new texts. But once we were here, I understood that my real mission was with the islanders. We must bring the light to this island. You talked about a mission with the natives. What did you mean by that? I may be under the command of Sister Eugenia here, but my superior is Bishop Domitius. Our mission is to banish pagan cults and convert the entire population to the light. The island belongs to Saint Matthias, and therefore to Teleme, since the God of Light offered it to our founder. If your superior is Domitius, you are a member of the Ordo Luminis. I did not expect to find one of its members side by side with the missionaries. They usually do not get along. The Order goes everywhere the light needs to be revealed. You have a very unique way of seeing things. I doubt everyone accepts it. How are your relations with the natives? When I arrived, we were still trying to obtain information from them about Saint Matthias. But they were very reluctant to give us any answers. We were also trying to educate them. Our attempts eventually made some of the inhabitants of the village react badly. Most stubborn against our teachings, the warriors and the marked. The ones the natives call the Onomanawi. They eventually left, and it has proved nothing but a blessing for us. I would like to go back to work now, if you don't mind. Of course. I will leave you to your work. Goodbye. Father, I'm glad to see you, my child. What can I do for you? Tell me about how you created this village. We did not create it from the ground up. It was built around an existing native village. The islanders called it Vigsenegad, which translates to the village of the old sage. Huh. We saw it as a sign. The natives had probably chosen this name in memory of Saint Matthias, and everything here fit the description of Saint Lucius. The discovery of the tablets proved us right. So, we decided to rebuild our Eden here, in the spirit of peace and harmony which is described in the scriptures. Why share this village with the natives? To replicate and resume the work of our founder, of course. If he came here and managed to convert the natives, then it is our duty to do the same thing. By living side by side with them, it is much easier for us to pass on our teachings. How well do you get along with the natives who live here? Uh, very well, of course. Especially since those who opposed our presence left. Left? To go where? Oh, to other villages, I imagine. Does it even matter? Those who stayed are on the path of enlightenment. Some of their legends must have been about Saint Matthias. That helped to convince them. And how well have neighboring villages welcomed you? With some reluctance, to be perfectly honest. So? We sent the missionaries. There are still frequent conflicts with the village of Vedluk, a highly violent village of heretics. But the other villages, the more peaceful ones, are slowly starting to listen to the sacred word. There are no Onol Manawi and no warriors here either. Did they all leave? Perfect harmony takes time, my child. I have no doubt that one day 
we will manage to convince your kind to convert. But, in the meantime, we must settle for the miracle of great coexistence that this place already represents. Nobody thought we could live side by side with your people. And yet... I must leave you. Goodbye. May the Enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. Hello. I am Ler, the village leader. Well, I was the leader of this village. Hello. De Sade. I am the legate of the merchant congregation. There are Onol Manawi among the Logaid Blau. I did not know that. What do you want from me? I've heard a lot of things about this village of Eden, but I'd like to hear your version. Hmm. I'm not sure Roy have the answers to all of your questions, but I'll try. Tell me about the arrival of the people of Teleme, and how you received them. The priests were roaming around the village. They were saying that it was the place where their saint had lived. They were asking questions, talking about the Lloyd, and all these things. One morning, they were building houses next to ours. And we had new neighbors. The priests told me that they had managed to convert you. How did that happen? As long as we refused to listen to them, they were violent, and they destroyed some of our sanctuaries. So we let them talk. And now that they think that we love their god, they leave us alone. Some of the things they say are beautiful, and their magic is impressive. But we do not forget our spirits. One of the theologians told me that you would help them in their research. They wanted to find tracks of the old sage, of the one they call Saint Matthäus, and they were rummaging through everything. Our Donegad did not want to tell them anything, because the old sage is sacred here. But since they violently interrogated everyone, I thought it wise to guide them to the place where the stones were. What happened to your warriors? Why did they have to leave the village? They did not accept the presence of the priests and their questions. They tried to retake the village. They even asked Derdra, the chief of Vedlug, for her help. So, the priests called the Sol Lasse, the Burning Sons, and they killed many of them. Oi asked for peace, and the others left us. They wanted to join Vedlug. Perhaps they have done so. Aren't you angry after all that happened? No. I mourn those who died, of course. And the Vorstirent. But this village may be our opportunity. Your opportunity for what? For the Renaigse to understand who we are. Not savages, nor monsters, but men. Perhaps wiser than they are. I have to go. Like so many others. I knew that the story would be more complex than we'd been told. The priests separated this village into two parts. The exiles must be brokenhearted, having left their clan behind. Had they been wiser and accepted their new neighbors, they'd never have been forced to leave. Either way, the resentment here is strong enough for a theft to occur.
Hmm. There is only one entrance and the door shows no evidence of a break-in. This priest, Virgil, said that the night was calm. So calm that he probably fell asleep. So, the thieves only had to take the key from him. It's very likely that that's what happened, but someone must have informed them. It can't be a coincidence that they decided to steal it during the watch of the only neglectful guard. You think that the one who told them is in this village? We know that this theft could be an act of vengeance by the natives who were forced to leave here. They must still have allies in the village, family or friends. We should go talk to the chief of the natives. He will certainly know who is close to the exiles, and enough about the researchers to inform them. You have returned on all Manawi. Do you need something else? I think I know who stole the tablets. Really? I believe those who were exiled from your village seek vengeance because the missionaries forced them to leave. They must have taken the tablets with the help of someone else who stayed here. You may be right, but you may also be wrong. You do well to tell me what you know. Once the priests have reached the same conclusions as I have, how do you think they will interrogate you? You're probably right. The Inquisitors would come back, and my people would suffer. I do not want to break the peace that I did all I could to make. I think the name of the woman you are looking for is Vindwal. She helps the priests who seek the old sage. If she's helping the priests, why would she betray them now? Her son is one of the warriors who had to leave the village. He is filled with anger and fury. If you go talk to her, please, do not hurt her. She is but a mother who acted according to her son's wishes. I have no intention of hurting her, but things may not be so simple when it comes to her son. <laughs> 